Today I'm going to show you how to use Open Nebula to set up an open source, pay-as-you-go virtual desktop infrastructure at the edge using on-demand bare metal resources from providers like AWS or Packet. This decentralized edge cloud model is especially useful for companies that need to be compliant with local data protection regulations like GDPR or for employees that require low latency remote access to corporate applications. So, in the first part, I'm going to show you how to automatically provision dedicated virtual desktops at the edge in the case that there's an urgent need for a company to respond to an unexpected work from home demand. In the second part, I'm going to show you how end users can manage their dedicated virtual machines and access their virtual desktops through Open Nebula's web interface, Sunstone. And then finally, I'll show you how the integration between Open Nebula and Apache Guacamole works and the benefits it provides to end users. We can use Open Nebula to deploy and manage virtual desktops in an automated way by creating and destroying them dynamically according to the actual demand or by defining some scheduled policies like having a certain number of virtual desktops ready during certain business hours. Okay, Apache Guacamole is an open source software that allows access to virtual desktops through HTML5 browsers without the requirement of plugins or a desktop client. It supports standard protocols like VNC, RDP, and SSH. All right, so let's start with the demonstration. First of all, let's review very quickly the Open Nebula environment that the IT department within an organization should prepare in order to deploy this VDI solution. First, an Open Nebula front end has to be deployed at a central location from which the VDI deployment at the edge will be managed. For this front end, you can use an on-premises server or a host on a public cloud or bare metal provider. After that, the cloud admin needs to set up an Open Nebula private marketplace on that host. The marketplace is useful for storing and sharing the virtual image files needed for the virtual desktops that will be at the different edge locations. For our demonstration, we have a pre-built Windows 10 enterprise image. This image should be prepared according to the organization's needs. For example, by integrating Active Directory authentication or the necessary corporate applications that end users would need. All right. With Open Nebula, it's possible to provision physical nodes at the edge by using MiniOne, our tool for easily deploying a simple Open Nebula cloud based on either KVM virtual machines or LexD system containers. In this demonstration, we'll be using bare metal server resources at the facility that Packet has in their Amsterdam location. So it takes about five to 10 minutes to be deployed. And so at this point, I'm gonna carry on with getting the host ready and then I'll return. Okay, so once the physical node has been deployed, we can then proceed to import the Windows appliance from the private marketplace in the image data store on the specific edge location that we're gonna be using for deploying the corporate virtual desktops. All right, you'll see a VM template will be created. At this point, we can update that VM template with the networks that we've defined on the edge, right? In this case, both a private and a public NIC. The cloud admin will also have to create on Open Nebula the users for whom he's going to provide a virtual desktop. In this case, we have created a demo account. The admin will then be able to instantiate the VM template on behalf of the end users to create the virtual machines that should be available to them. So again, in this case, we'll be using the demo account that we created. So we'll wait a few minutes until the VM is running. All right. Now let's see how the demo user would connect to the Sunstone portal. And we'll take, a, we'll take a look at the standard options that are available for the end users to manage and access their virtual desktop. The user can connect to the Windows virtual machine by using the integrated VNC SPICE console within Sunstone. In the upcoming version 5.12 Firework, 
OpenW will, be, will provide RDP files to be downloaded and used with external RDP clients, so that will make things even easier. So one other thing that users, end users can do within the Sunstone portal is manage the life cycle of the virtual machines by powering off and resuming according to scheduled business hours, as well as taking care of scheduled reboots of the machine. So these are standard features that come with a typical open nebula environment. And as you can see, they can be used almost out of the box to quickly deploy a VDI solution at the edge. What I'm going to do now is explain how to go one step further. We'll, we'll make things even easier for end users to access their corporate virtual desktops and much more flexible for cloud admins too. So what I'm going to do is show how the integration of Open Nebula with Apache Guacamole works. In this new scenario, we have to deploy a Guacamole server. So for this demo, we've performed this installation by using the official Docker image provided by the Guacamole project. Once it's installed, we can log into the Guacamole web portal with the admin user. I'm going to create a balancing connection group that dynamically balances the workload across the connections which it contains. The connections that will be added to this connection group will be related to the VMs that will be created in Open Nebula. So now I need to create a demo user in Guacamole. To simplify things, we'll use the same username and password that's configured in our Windows image and associated to the user the connection group previously created. In a production environment, a central authentication system such as LDAP or Active Directory would probably be in place. So, Corporate virtual images and guacamole sh should be configured to use the same authentication system. Now we'll go back to the Open Nebula environment and log in as one admin. We're going to use OneFlow, which is one of the most powerful components in Open Nebula. It essentially allows cloud admins to run complex services managing multi-VM applications and defining dependencies and advanced auto-scaling policies. So we can use OneFlow to create a service for the deployment and management of Windows virtual desktops that are part of our VDI solution at the edge. So the cloud admin can also create different policies for scheduling resources for the creation and deletion of virtual machines. They can use elastic policies for auto scaling and for the scheduling of the provisioning of resources according to perhaps the business hours of a company's local offices and different time zones. They can also define elasticity policies so the VDI system adapts in real time and is ready to provision more resources on demand. So for this demonstration, we'll keep it simple and we'll set the cardinality to one so just one virtual machine will be instantiated. Once we create the template for the OneFlow service, we can instantiate it. And then once the service is deployed, a virtual machine will be created. So, how does the integration with Guacamole work? Once the VM is created on Open Nebula, a new connection will be added automatically to the connection pool that we already created on Guacamole. Here, an RDP connection is created with a public IP assigned to the VM and also an RDP port. The username and password are set to the Guacamole tokens so that the end user doesn't have to authenticate again to access the Windows virtual machine. So thanks to this integration of Open Nebula with Apache Guacamole, our demo user can now log into the Guacamole portal simply by using a web browser and gets immediate access to the corporate virtual desktop. That's pretty cool. Now, if we combine this model of deployment of VMs with the proper configuration of the corporate storage to make sure that both the virtual desktops and the user data always remain at the edge, we'll get a fully open source VDI solution that can be compliant 
with any relevant data regulation that your company might need to observe. All right, so hopefully you found this integration useful. We urge you to stay safe, stay connected, and enjoy your work from home.